Hello, Christian Livingstone here. And guess what I'm about to do? Go ahead, try to guess. Well, it's not robbing a bank, but uh, it's something I don't think uh, anybody's ever done before. I certainly have not, and it involves the electric hand cycle once more. And uh, as some of you will know, uh, having seen some of my uh, YouTube videos, uh, uh, I developed this, and uh, last year I was uh, doing a video called Christian Anarchy and In Snow Electric Hand Cycling. And that's when I only had uh, one uh, uh, hub motor on one of the rear wheels of this uh, trike-style uh, electric hand cycle that I, I built right in my, my little uh, place here. I'm still in the trial uh, stages uh, in testing it out, and you can see that, uh, you know, it's not fully uh, completed, but uh, it's uh, fully functional. And what that means is that, uh, there's my, my little Christian Kingdom plate on there. It's uh, somewhat anti-status, if you can read between the lines there. But uh, what I also mean is that... Uh, you know, it's not finished in that, uh, you know, the second battery and the uh, second controller are kind of lashed down inside the, the basket there uh, with the bungee cord. So, you know, it's in a, a kind of tentative state. So, uh, but uh, fully functional, the, uh, the one throttle there uh, operates uh, two controllers and I just... Uh, uh, split it and divided it and uh, it seems to be fine even though each controller has a uh, five volt power uh, uh, to that uh, that throttle. I uh, did it with just one uh, power to the throttle and uh, and uh, you know that worked fine but then I put the power back on and put two of the five volts uh, going to the uh, uh, throttle and uh, I like that a little better. It doesn't seem to uh, do any harm or overload uh, anything uh, and uh, I like it better because that way I can switch uh, to just uh, one wheel or the other wheel or both. If I have uh, just the power going uh, from one that has to be the dominant one. In order to run them both, I have to have that one going and then that one. I can't just run this one. If, if it's getting the 5 volts from this side, then it needs them both. So uh, I can run this one by itself wired that way or both, but not you know one or the other. So I just wired them both to the uh, throttle and that way I can run this one, this one, or both. Now that's with one wheel power, and uh, I'll just rotate around here a little bit, and I'll throw the switch to the second wheel. Dog likes to chase me on this thing. So, you know, it's speedy either way, but... Uh, We'll see in the snow, because that's kind of what prompted me to uh, want to do this. And plus the redundancy, you know. I can have twice as much range with two batteries rolling around here. Regardless of whether I'm using the two motors or one at a time, I get, you know, twice as, as much range. And theoretically, it's more efficient. It's paradoxical, and it's kind of counterintuitive, but... Uh, uh, when you have two electric motors going, you get better efficiency. So even with the added weight of uh, another battery and another hub motor, it might actually take me farther, not just twice as far as, as one battery, but even beyond that. Um, there's a, a electric car company called Tesla Motors, and they just came out with some new uh, vehicles, and uh, they uh, put a dual motor on their Highline uh, model, and you know they're very expensive to begin with, but they're pretty slick. And uh, the guy who is the CEO and uh, a large portion owner of the uh, company, his name is uh, Elon Musk, and he's one of these uh, genius physics and business guys, and you know he's uh, Swiss or something like that, so. 
you know, it must be fun to be him. He's a young guy, good-looking guy, brilliant guy, billionaire guy, and globetrotter all over the world. And, uh, you know, since he's not a U.S. citizen, he doesn't have to pay taxes in a lot of the places where he, he makes money. So, you know, it must be fun to be him. Uh, almost as much fun as it, it is to be me, I'm sure. But, <laughs> but anyway, he... Uh, he talked about that on a video I watched just recently, and so, uh, you know, I think we're kind of on the same wavelength as far as two motors, uh, and uh, I didn't take a note from him, and I'm sure he didn't take a note from me, but uh, we're doing the same things, kind of, me on a much smaller scale, so, yeah, I'm liking this. Uh, it's only been a day or two that I've I had these two motors going, and, you know, I'm working the bugs out, and uh, I'll undoubtedly be you know, uh, making a, a larger battery box down below. I've got one mounted down below, and I like to use this diamond plate when I uh, do things. You can see here, there's my diamond plate. It's kind of a signature of mine when I'm welding. I like the expanded metal, too, and stainless steel. But uh, I'll uh, undoubtedly uh, uh, put the second battery down below, get it out of that basket, and maybe expand this uh, under the seat a little bit and put that second uh, controller. They're fairly large controllers and, uh, you know, there's newer ones that are smaller, but I like these. These have a lot of jumpers and they're real versatile and it's working, so, you know, I'm going to stick with the older, bigger controllers. But, uh, you know, I'm liking it. Two-wheel drive in the rear, you know, whether I'm using them both at the same time doesn't matter. You know, I've got them there. I can switch. If it gets snowy or I get in some mud, I'll just put dual rear drive. And then when I'm chasing the dog around, uh, you know, if I'm shifting weight, I won't lose traction on one. The other driving wheel will, will be running me because before when I'd chase the dog around, I'd shift to, and I kind of have to wait to touch back down on the driven wheel. So, so it's, it's all fun. Okay, let's take a little ride, kids. <laughs> you know, you can do it either way. You get a little better performance with the two motors, but uh, I'm not really going for speed. You know, with just one uh, hub motor, I get about 25 miles an hour. joking how, you know, it, it really wasn't doing too well in the snow. And, uh, you know, with one energized wheel, the uh, the tire was uh, not a very aggressive tread. And, you know, but I would still be able to get going and I'd, I'd hold one uh, uh, hand on the uh, thumb throttle and energize one of the rear wheels and kind of help it along with one arm cranking. So I, I was joking and calling it... Uh, one and a half wheel drive and uh, uh, you know it, it it was something that you know gave rise to you know me wanting to uh, develop a, a, a little better solution for maybe going out into the snow and uh, not that I want to do that a, a whole lot but uh, installing uh, two uh, hub motors on a, a trike uh, is something I, I don't believe has ever been done before and uh, you know I could be mistaken about that but uh, I've never seen anybody now there was a, another guy who was uh, developing a uh, tadpole trike that is the two uh, front wheels uh, are the turning wheels and he also installed some uh, direct drive motors and uh, uh, you know he was having trouble with uh, turning it with the spokes braking but so he was uh, uh, a first uh, recently in that area, but uh, as far as a delta trike with the two wheels in back, uh, I don't think anybody's ever done it. I'm using uh, uh, geared hub motors, and I uh, modified one of them to make it clutchless so I could reverse the rotation so I didn't have the wire hanging out the side on, on the uh, right side. So I liked it better that way, and without the... Uh, clutch uh, there's fewer moving parts so it's uh, 
it's a, a sturdier uh, build on that side, and I, I think I'll use that as the primary drive side. So, you know, I can I can drive both of these wheels at the same time, or one or the other uh, individually. Now let's do that. Let's uh, get in the snow and see how these two driven wheels do. There's not a whole bunch of snow right now. There might have been a, an inch or more uh, last night, uh, maybe two, but it's a good place to start. And since I know this terrain, you know, I feel confident and comfortable with uh, uh, rolling around here, but uh, I've never done it, so uh, we'll see. Ready? And uh, also, you know, I have the uh, camera mounted up top here, uh, so, you know, I'll undoubtedly cut some of the clips in from this one as well, but uh, I'll leave this running also. <laughs> Wow, doesn't feel much different than, uh, you know, no snow here. So uh, I've also got uh, some trash to take out. So I'll get out on the street and see, see how it's like out there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we got a, a snow cycle, I think. <laughs> what you doing, kitty? What you doing, puppy? Yeah, I know this terrain pretty good out here too, so like I said, I'll roll right on out here. <laughs> About 11 miles an hour, 12. That's my buddy, their door isn't open, so I won't bug him. lose too much traction. Those new uh, tires uh, and the dual rear, rear drive uh, just makes snow uh, a breeze. So we'll have to see uh, and test it better, uh, you know, when there's more snow than this. But as you can see, there's a good inch or more. It's probably an inch and a half. What you doing, kitty? Want to get up here? Come on. Come on, you little snow cycler. Yeah. I'll take the kitty riding with me. <laughs> yeah, snow cycling kitty. Wee. Oh yeah, the braking and the traction is good in the snow. Good to have two-wheel drive, electric hand cycle, trikes, or whatever you got. The kitty wants off now, huh? All right, let me just keep rolling around, having some fun. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, Buffy likes it too, huh? <laughs> oh, you like sneaking up, huh?
not as good as they are when there's no snow but uh, I'm going to declare a victory here and maybe a first in human history uh, for the dual rear drive uh, delta trike electric hand cycle uh, and uh, in snow uh, trike cycle <laughs> so yeah it's been a fun project this electric hand cycle and then you know, adding the, the two-wheel drive at the rear. So, uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, you know, it's uh, worth doing. And uh, even if I'm not all, always using uh, the dual rear drive, I, I like the idea of, uh, what you doing, kitty? I like the idea of having uh, another uh, uh, hub motor and battery on tap, you know, because it one fails one drops off I can just shift to the other like uh, you know a ray to ray hard drive I did a, another video I put two uh, hard drives in my Mac mini uh, computer and uh, I really like that uh, you know with the ray to ray raid zero uh, you get twice as much space and twice as much speed and that's kind of what the dual rear drive does on these things too it gives you better performance and uh, uh, theoretically better efficiency so you know I might be able be able to even travel uh, more than twice as far with the two batteries but uh, if nothing else like a, a, a raid uh, one a mirrored raid uh, you know if one uh, motor drops off one drive system uh, fails uh, you know I won't miss a beat the other one will still be able to get me where I'm going or wherever I, I want to go okay so that's it and uh, if you want to see more of these fun and kooky projects I'm doing of course uh, my YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com forward slash new Jerusalem times okay bye bye